Coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. For this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ben. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, even for a Boston guy. I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Ooh, blocks the shot. Single collar tie here. Again, back into this position. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, how about the ankle? Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you see. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Just over three minutes to go round one. A huge elbow lands in the clinch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. What a wrestler. That was an amazing 
amazing takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom, Dyner Magomedov. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling should really be entertaining. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Superman punch. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with him. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Honing in on those counters. Single collar tie now. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Can't take many of those, you better check. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. And they separate. His misses are in the Good punch land. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Hey, cut man. Over here. Cut man. Come on. Listen. Fix that up. Listen. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Listen. Stay tight. All right, next round is underway, DC. He had the countering game going early and often in the previous round, and counter strikers, I would think, are pretty hard guys for which to prepare. Oh, they're very tough. If you don't know when, you're able to truly get going. If you don't know when, the counter strike is going to land and really affect your rhythm. They're very tough to deal with. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, Carlo Ty. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Fantastic timing on that move. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to put full posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to the feet now. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there, he hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. Big ball punch man. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh! So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he's got the longer reach and oh! It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Left hand punching the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, big punch land. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Ten minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Jockey in for position here in the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh, big knee. Big knee. Judo throw, he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him. Yeah, he can either ground and pop or he can chase the mission. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. 
Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in, this could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Outstanding ground and pound. Unbelievable! He got him! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.